Hey guys, it is Anthony from Top String Lacrosse, and we're back with you to review and break down the all new ECD Lacrosse Echo Arm Pad. So this is actually going to be ECD's third fall release for 2022, and it's definitely an exciting one as it is ECD's very first venture into any type of protection piece for lacrosse. So this is definitely exciting, and let's get breaking it down and reviewing it for you. So for this release, ECD is just going to do the Echo in an arm pad, no arm guard or elbow pad option, uh, but it's still a great option for you guys. So getting into the design, for those of you who've been around the game for a while, this might remind you of a Brian Low Pro or an Under Armour VFT arm pad. So there's definitely some recognizable features with this pad, but the details are really what's gonna set it apart. So to start things off with the design of the Echo arm pad, it's going to be the pads of it itself. So you're gonna see those, all those shapes all the way through the arm pad there, which is great because they can be flexed any which direction with all those breaks. So super, super comfortable. However, that's just not ordinary padding inside the Echo. ECD is calling this smart flex technology. Some of you that might be on the hockey side of things as well with a D3O foam that's found in some protection lines there, this is going to be very similar to that D3O foam. So it's super flexible right off the hop if you're bending it around those small movements that you have on your arm however once impact on the pad itself that foam actually hardens up on impact to protect so super super flexible uh, without impact but once it is hit uh, it definitely hardens up to protect the arm. And it's one of those things that we can tell you that, but seeing is believing, feeling is believing with the Smart Flex pad. So this is a really, really great feature when it comes to lacrosse arm pads. So next with the design, one of the questions that we get asked a lot is, is the pad going to slide down my arm? And we can definitely say, even with sweat and a rainstorm, this is not going to slide down your arm because ECD did a really great job. So at the very top of the pad here, there is a rubber kind of grip feel at the top of the pad, as well as down where your forearm will be. It's definitely not going to slip down uh, either direction there. As well, you have the strap across the top here that wraps all the way around that you can really cinch this down to make sure it fits the way that you want it to. And with the fit and feel of the Echo arm pad, it's definitely a really nice flexible pad. The feel is great too. The liner uh, of the Echo arm pad is the same material of a compression, you know, leg sleeve, arm sleeve. So it's gonna feel, if those of you that use those, you're gonna feel right at home with something like the Echo arm pad. But again, with the fit, the feel comfort, it is fantastic. All those brakes on there, you could definitely move those right around. Have the strap right up top here to really kind of cinch that in where I need it to. It's just a really great fit all around. And it's definitely gonna be something uh, for guys to try out in the store to make sure they got the right arm pads. So wrapping up the design of the Echo arm pads, they are going to only be available in white. And size wise, they're available in a size small slash medium and a size large slash extra large. The large extra large is what I've had on my arm previously in the video, and it's definitely a nice snug fit, super flexible, and that's definitely what I would really like on the field. And getting into the level of protection of the Echo arm pad, because we know that's gonna be a question that's asked, this pad's definitely gonna be able to do a nice amount of protection for an arm pad. So if you're one of those players that already uses one of those, is looking for something a little bit more flexible than other ones out there, does it in mind a little bit of that wear and tear abuse that your arm takes, and looking for that flexibility and lightweight pad, this is what's going to be for you. If you don't want too much of that kind of getting hit in the arm, the, the bruises, you definitely want to get something more like an arm guard that other companies offer uh, to get that extra level of protection. But again, if you're someone that's already using an arm pad, looking for something that's more lightweight, not slipping down your arm, don't mind getting a few bruises here and there, then the Echo arm pad can be for you for sure. 
So our key takeaways with the Echo Arm Pad are going to be that the Echo Arm Pad, first and foremost, only comes in the Arm Pad. If you're looking for the Arm Guard with that harder cap, this is not for you. If you're looking for that minimal amount of elbow protection, you're looking for an elbow cap, so you're not going to be looking for the Echo Arm Pad. Level of protection wise, it's definitely going to be good with that Smart Flex technology. Upon impact, each of those zones harden up to take that impact for you. Uh, level of comfortability and flexibility, it's definitely going to be the most flexible arm pad on the market, that is for sure. Uh, as far as fit and worries about the arm pad slipping down your arm, you have the rubber grip at the top as well as the bottom all the way around uh, the arm pad itself on the liner as well as the strap at the top of the pad. Fit wise, they come in at a size small slash medium and a large slash extra large only available in white. Okay guys, that wraps up our review and breakdown of the Echo Arm Pads. If you have any questions, put those in the comments down below. We'll try to get to those as quick as possible for you. The Echo Arm Pads will be retailing for $119.99. They'll be releasing at 10 a.m. November 10th. You get them in store with us or shop with us online at topstringlacrosse.com. In the description down below, we'll put all the links for direct purchasing as well as all the links to our social media feeds. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe to our YouTube feed. Thanks for always watching guys. We'll see you out there.